Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. We are here today to go through a mini battle guide on the God of Depths boss down at Join Caffle Depths. You can see on screen the classes that were used in the first run I did. The second run is actually what I'm going to be showing you right now. Oddly enough, the main difference being that we had a Stone Crusher running along with us, which for the mana use is really, really important to have in your team. Okay, so the most important thing to know about this fight is the minute you see this text you cannot resist appearing on screen, you need to be using using your visual item that you got from the merge shop. I'd recommend going along just grabbing a full stack of those, equipping them into your slot 6 as you can see on screen, and you will need to just be keeping your eye on the text throughout the battle. Now, the time is a fickle thing, seems to be some sort of counter. So far that hasn't affected the way I've been playing this boss. You can also just time your vigils to use before the text you can't resist appears, but to be quite honest with you, that seems to just make it more complicated than it needs to be. You cannot resist appears on screen, then use your vigil item immediately and then you'll be greeted on screen with a text that will say you resisted the nightmare. Once you've got your head around that very very nice and simple mechanic all you then need to be worrying about is how you actually go about defeating this boss. Now there's nothing particularly too hard hitting presuming you have plenty of healers and also a class in there to help you out with your mana usage. You can then treat the fight very much as you would at Tyndarius. So instead of defeating orbs you are defeating tentacles. So defeat the tentacles first and then as they respawn make sure that you're taking them out and then deal damage to the God of Depths boss right in the middle. It is just a case of rinsing and repeating that cycle. If you have people who are not using their vigils correctly, they're just going to be constantly freezing and dying. It's really quite frustrating because that lowers the DPS you're actually going to be doing to the boss. And of course, in turn, means that the battle will be going on a bit longer. There may actually be a way to do this boss quicker with certain compositions and setups, but to be quite honest with you, just using a standard ultra comp full of support and maybe add in a couple DPS classes with seven players in the map, you should be doing this absolutely fine with no trouble most of the time as long as people have got their head around that vigil mechanic in there. So we have been zooming our way through this battle but we are nearly at the end and about to defeat the boss and grab ourselves an item. As you can see I've already turned this quest in once so we won't be doing that again. Once the boss does get pretty low you can just focus on his health, I wouldn't worry too much about the tentacle respawning but obviously if there is still a reasonable amount of health left to him make sure you are just carrying on with the battle as you normally would because you don't want to wipe right at the end that would be incredibly frustrating anyway folks if you have no idea about the vigil which you should because you can't get into that particular area without buying one anyway just go in the merge shop and like i say buy a stack of them and that should do you well anyway thank you all very much for watching please do leave the video a like and of course subscribe and i'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon